Hey guys, it's James here. Today I want to talk about my butt. No, not literally my butt. I want to talk about a tool, a bit of software called Broadcast using this tool, aka B-U-T-T. -T. Now, butt has been around for probably 10 years, maybe even going on 12. Um, it's a solid piece of software. It's developed open source, which means it's completely free. You can download it. Um, it will stream to any Shoutcast or Icecast server. And it's literally used by thousands and thousands of radio stations all around the world, primarily because number one, it's free and it's rock solid. And of course it works cross platform. So you can download it on Windows, Mac, Linux. It'll work just fine. So in today's video, I wanted to dive into how you could use it to stream live online radio. And if you're thinking about setting up a radio station, I'll also touch on why now is a great time to start your radio station. And also why we've decided to start sponsoring this tool. All of that coming right up. So welcome to today's video. For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm an entrepreneur working primarily in the audio space. I'm founder of radio.co, podcast.co, and matchmaker.fm. I love helping folks get results when it comes to audio, people growing radio stations, starting podcasts. So you can go and check those out if you like. In today's video, I wanted to focus on a piece of software, as I just mentioned, called B-U-T-T, -T, or BUT, uh, which stands for broadcast using this tool. It's a real simple uh, desktop-based encoder. It will run on very minimal system resources, so you don't need a big fancy computer to run it, and it streams reliably. So it means all you have to do is press go, and it will be off streaming live content onto your radio station. Um, works really well with radio.co, and um, as mentioned, you know, I'm founder of radio.co. We've recently decided to start sponsoring this project, and I wanted to quickly give you a little bit of history. Uh, so the project was initially launched uh, by Daniel Nothan, who's a uh, software developer and also DJ. And he started working on this software back in 2007 when he was at university studying, I think, for his degree in electrical engineering. So it was kind of like a side hustle. Daniel was really keen on DJ and he wanted a simple piece of software to get his mixes out to the world so he could broadcast live radio. Um, and so he set about building this software called But. Now, the funny thing is, since then, it's gone on to really take the online radio industry by storm. It's used by radio stations, Chi, both big and small. I mean, I've seen stations which are getting millions of listeners a day using this software as their primary broadcasting application. And likewise, lots and lots of DJs, smaller stations using it as well. It's really simple to get up and uh, it's free to download, obviously, really simple to set up and install. And I'll talk you through how you can use it with radio.co in a moment. So the question, why did we decide to sponsor it? Well, Daniel has worked tirelessly for like the last nearly 15 years creating the software. And we thought it'd be really, really good to support the open source software community. We decided to uh, sponsor it for the next couple of years. Um, and hopefully uh, we're gonna be working alongside Daniel to innovate and, and work on some new features to kind of make this software the best it can possibly be. It's getting around 10,000 downloads a week. So you can see there's a kind of clear demand for a good quality free tool for this type of application. I also, in this video, I wanna show you some of the new features that have just recently been added, including like an EQ and a compressor, which can make your stream sound even better. Um, and just talk about some of the other features it offers, such as uh, audio logging, so you can record your output, etc. So if that sounds all good, um, let's get into a quick tutorial. Before we do, I wanted to talk briefly about um, if you're thinking about starting a radio station, maybe you're watching this video because you want to learn how to stream live radio online. And at the end of this video, what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you one of my best resources to actually get your radio station up and running as quickly as possible with minimal fuss. So make sure you watch to the end um, and I'll be sending you to a specific page where you can go and grab that resource for free. So without further ado, let's get into the computer. And I'll show you how to use BUT and I'll show you how it simple it is to stream live online radio station using radio.co and broadcast using this tool. All right, so let's dive into this tutorial. The first thing which we need to do is download the latest version of broadcast using this tool. I'd advise against just typing BUT into Google. You'll see why if you try it. So um, if you go to Google, just type in broadcast using this tool. Um, and here is the official site of Daniel Noathan, who's the developer of this tool who I mentioned before. Really simple. Um, obviously, you can sort of read about it. 
proudly sponsored by Radio.co. And I'll show you Radio.co in a minute if you've not seen it before. It's an awesome platform for streaming and automating your radio station. And we want to download the version which we want for the relevant operating system. We want to make sure we're downloading the latest version. Um, you can see kind of a change log and all this sort of thing down here. As you can see, uh, last updated in July uh, of this year. It's now September. So Daniel quite, quite, quite frequently pushes out updates to this. Um, and we've got some updates that we've been actually working on with him as well, which will be coming out soon. So anyway, let's go ahead and download this version uh, for my Mac because I'm on a Mac computer today. If you're on Windows, obviously you click that and it also works on Linux as well. Once we've uh, got the download, we can install that. And we're going to just drag that into our applications folder. Okay. I've already got it installed, so I just wanted to make sure I got the latest version. Um, okay, as you can see, we've got it installed, so we can go ahead and open this up. And we are now ready to go. So if I close these tabs, um, this is the software. Uh, pretty simple to, to use. We can get rid of SourceForge now. Um, what I want to show you is how to connect it to radio.co. Now, this is a, a kind of demo station that I've got set up, which is playing a chill out music 24 seven. You can go and check it out if you like, it's chill.io. Um, and currently we're just broadcasting off radio.co. Now, if you've never seen radio.co before, really good tool, um, you know, obviously for clarification and founder of this company, um, you can upload all of your media files, manage them. You can build playlists uh, really simply, and you can also schedule those playlists to go out at certain times of the day. So just using a calendar. So it's really, really easy. There's no technical knowledge required. There's widgets for your website, um, listen links. It will work across a variety of platforms, you know, mobile, smart speakers, etc. Um, you can see how many people have been listened. You can do automated requests, reporting for your licensing. All this sort of stuff um, is included as part of radio.co. But what I wanted to do today is talk specifically about how we go live, how we actually broadcast live, because right now the software radio.co is running my radio station from the cloud, meaning if I switch my computer off right now, my audience can still tune in and, I know that the station is going to be live 24 hours a day without having to run my computer. But let's say I want to do a live DJ set uh, from my computer or maybe from my decks or you know CDJs or whatever it might be. Um, that's where Butt comes into play. That's where this software is useful because it will allow me to stream a source live to radio.co. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings and here in settings, I'm going to choose uh, where it says server settings, I want to add a server. I'm just going to call this radio.co. And we need, there's a few key pieces of information we need, which we can grab from our dashboard here. If, if you can't see this bar, you just click the little live thing and it'll toggle down. Now you can see here it says live anytime enabled. That just means because I'm the owner of this ma manager of this station, I can choose if I want to just go live ad hoc, I can choose whenever I want to go live. If you're a DJ on a radio station, um, and you've been invited by someone else, you might have a scheduled time on which you can go live and you won't be able to connect outside of that time window. Um, I'll, I've explained that in some other tutorial videos, which you can go and find on the radio.co channel. But um, the key pieces of information we need here are the host name, which is our server, the port, and the password. Now, you don't really have to worry about what this means. All I'm gonna do is copy them. And then the host or server will go into address, the port, will go into the port field, right? And then password, which is normally like a randomly generated one, will go into our password. This will work with any Shoutcast or Icecast server, by the way, if you're using something else, that's cool with me. Radio Core obviously offers a lot more than Shoutcast does in terms of features, functionality, and also our technical support is far superior to a lot of the other providers out there. However, it will work with, with pretty much any radio provider. Shoutcast, Icecast are pretty much the standard. Once we've added uh, this information in, I'm gonna click, click the add button. You can actually add multiple servers if you want. So perhaps you DJ on several different radio stations. You can choose to add more than one server. You just go through the same process. But for now, we're just gonna add the single server. Next up, I wanna click on um, audio settings. Um, you may want to select an external device. So for example, if you have like a Rodecaster Pro or something like that connected, you could choose that. Um, I'm gonna choose my external sound cards, which has got my microphone connected into. 
But if I had any other external devices, like for example, if I wanted to connect perhaps, um, you know, another mixing desk or some other so- software, or if I wanted to connect, um, you know, some CDJ, some Pioneer DJ equipment, I could choose uh, that from the menu depending on how it's connected to your computer. But for this demo, I'm just going to choose my sound card. Again, you can specify various different settings. I'm going to leave most of this as it is. The only thing I'm going to do is adjust the bit rate. Um, by default, this is 128K. I'm going to broadcast at 192K. That's the maximum you can that broadcast on radio.co just to give us as much quality as we can. You could also choose if you want to broadcast in MP3 or AAC+. Uh, you could use either of these. Uh, you can use either of these. Uh, oh, I haven't got the bloody audio library. <clears throat> you can also... Ch- I'll start that again. You can also choose which format you want to broadcast in. I recommend just sticking with MP3. Good old MP3. It's been around for years. Doesn't fail. Um, and as I say, I've selected 192 on the bitrate. A couple of other features I wanted to just draw your attention to, really. Um, you can actually record your broadcast, which is great if you want to record your mix or you know you want to record your radio show. This will work really simply in radio.co as well. You can actually specify if you want to record shows that you're doing. But if you want to record it locally, uh, just to your, to your hard disk, you can do this. And again, it's good if you're perhaps using this software, maybe you're running a radio station and you're streaming like 24 hours a day. You can split it down every every few minutes or uh, sync to an hour, or whatever. Various different settings here. I'm going to just leave this as it, as it is for now. Um, the, this is something we don't really need to worry about. It's a certificate uh, for security. Um, this is a relatively new functionality. Um, we can actually activate uh, the graphic equalizer and we can tweak this as we please. If we want to maybe shape the sound of our radio station, you know, you can kind of like customize if you want maybe like more bass or more high or more low. Uh, you could tweak this uh, as you please. I'm not actually an audio engineer, so kind of I'm always doing a bit of guesswork when it comes to equalizers. I just try and follow the curve as closely as I can. But again, it's trial and error. It's one of these things where you can test it out, try different settings, see what sounds good. And next up, we've also got a dynamic range compressor. Uh, compressor. This will basically crunch down your audio just so you have less dynamic range, but you've kind of got like a louder sound. Um, Again, really, really popular in radio. You know, be careful with these settings. You can kind of end up going too far with them and you can end up with a stream which sounds a bit flat or um, sounds kind of too punchy, too loud and and maybe not very pleasant to listen to. So I'm going to switch these on for now anyway. Um, As I mentioned, you don't have to activate these. If you're happy with, uh, you know, the sound as it is, maybe just leave them switched off. Uh, next up, you could kind of tweak various different things on the user interface if you wish. Um, you can write down to the, the kind of background color of, of this. If I want to go and choose, a, I don't know, let's go like with like a nice red color, for example. I could do that if I like. Um, pretty neat. And finally, obviously, if you want to donate to Daniel, this is open source software. As I mentioned here at Radio.co, we've decided to sponsor this project for the next couple of years and uh, work with Daniel to try and improve it. But... Uh, if you want to donate, you're completely welcome to do so. Obviously, uh, we'll go straight to the developer himself, and I'm sure he'd really appreciate that. So that's but Let's close this window off, and we're ready to go. And now what I can do, if I press play here, this might sound a little bit weird because I've got the background music. Uh, that's kind of what's on air right now. If I press uh, hit the play button here, you'll see it connects. There is a slight delay in when you actually connect and then when you're going live. Uh, we'll soon see here this music drop. There we go. Now you can see it says on air on radio.co. Obviously, I've got my, my voice in the background, which is slightly strange. So we're going to stop. This is how you, we're actually broadcasting live right now. I'm going to stop this just so we're not hearing any kind of feedback. But basically... This is actually as simple as it is. This is how we've gone live. You can broadcast your show, you, you know, using broadcast, using this tool. It takes literally seconds to set up with radio.co. Pretty cool. I think you'll uh, agree. So if I click stop there, um, you know, we'll then go back to automation. Um, so basically, once I finish broadcasting, I can 
hit the stop button uh, and then close butt down and radio.co will kick back in if I press play now you'll hear it's uh, gone back to to music all right, so there it is. Um, if you want to download but I'll put a link in the description below. As I mentioned, it's completely free to download. The project's proudly supported by Radio.co. If you want more information on our products and services, you can also go and check out Radio.co. Um, and finally, if you are thinking about launching your radio station, or maybe you've just launched a radio station, and you're not really sure how to grow it, or if you're doing the right things, um, I wanted to introduce you to a free resource that I've put together called the Five Step Radio Startup Checklist. Now, every single radio station I've seen uh, succeed over the years has nailed each one of these five things. So I think this is really, really good information. You're gonna absolutely love it, especially if you're starting out, or if you're just looking for a little bit of a refresher on how you can refine your station, how perhaps you can make it better, or if it's not giving you the results you want in terms of listeners. You can download it for free if you head to jamesm.com slash radio. Again, I'll put a link down below. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. jamesm.com slash radio. It's my free five-step radio startup checklist. You're going to love it. It's going to be really, really helpful with your journey in starting a radio station. As I mentioned earlier, 2021, perfect time for starting a radio station. There's plenty of opportunities in the market right now. And we've recently seen lots and lots of radio stations launch and grow really, really quickly, um, partly because of the pandemic, weirdly, but also partly because of the way that the radio industry has evolved over the past couple of years. We're going to be talking about this in a video in the coming weeks. Um, but, you know, there's lots and lots of opportunity for you to go and soak up some audiences that are out there, which are literally dying out from content uh, that you can be able to provide to them, uh, especially when it comes to like, local radio stations and things like that. So. If you're not subscribed to this channel, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell because I'm going to be um, producing a video talking specifically about how you can create a really cool local radio station, giving you some great examples. And also, if you found this video useful, remember to give me a big thumbs up. Be really appreciative of that. Thanks for watching. and I'll speak to you soon. What makes the difference between a successful radio station and a failed project? Well, after working with tens of thousands of broadcasters over the past 15 years and helping lots of people start their own radio stations, I see the same mistakes being made time and time again. So what I've done is I've put together a guide called the Five Step Radio Startup Checklist, which really covers everything from concepting your radio station to marketing it. And this guide, I believe, will make the difference between you having a successful venture with longevity and creating something that doesn't quite hit the mark. Go and grab your copy now for free at jamesm.com slash radio. Just enter your name and your email address and I'll send it over to you straight away. You're going to find it really useful. There's tons of information there which will help you with concepting and launching your brand and bringing it 